Yeah, let's see here. If I can get over here without falling down on my butt and getting my boots all muddy. It's going to be bad. I'm going to put these boots in the back of my car. It's a rental car. I can just throw them in the back seat. What do you think? All right. On the concrete floor, finally. So, <clears throat> here we go. 16 foot ease. That's a long ways up there. I haven't figured out how I'm going to finish this off. You know, I know we're going to. There's a man door. So, I know we're going to spray foam it. But there's one of the doors there. They're just starting to trim that door out. You see that? They, today, they put the uh, end wall on. Just started skinning it today. So, there's the first door. Got it all trimmed out. Look at that. All nice and trimmed out. Ready for the overhead door. We're going to put an overhead door on this one here. Got the got the apron already in and then that door over here right there that is going to be a roll-up door so i didn't want the uh you know doing a um, overhead door i didn't want the track going you know 14 feet out into the space out here you know taking that headroom out so that's why we're putting a roll-up over door over here and then you know since this is the gable end so you can see how high it is up there so it won't interfere if I put a 14 track out here. It's not going to really interfere with the shop as much. So I like to do two roll-up doors, but boy, I tell you what. If you price an insulated roll-up door, they are expensive. And I just can't see it, you know. So here's the other. So here's the color. Look at this color. Can you tell or not? Nice, pretty gray. It's going to be trimmed in, in uh, a different gray. So, you know, the corner trim and stuff will be in a lighter gray. Uh, same as that, uh, that's a door jam. It's basically what that door jam is. So, you see the door jam. So, you know, the corner will be trimmed out in that gray. I did not do a, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, oh, you know, half half wall up around with different color, you know. I didn't do that. That's just more money. But, pretty cool. You know, so I got to clean the concrete floor at some point. Terrible. There's a the lift they've been using. But, you know, it's muddy back here. You know, I got that tractor, you know. You go look at that other video. Gonna need that tractor back here. <laughs> look at this. Gonna have to get us a box scraper, no doubt about it. And oh man, there's some work back here. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a while before I can dry that. You get that 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 gets dried out and I can scrape that all smooth, you know, and level that all out. A little bit of water back in there. I never noticed that. Back in those trees, back in there, and a little bit of water. That's where all that runoff goes down inside there and gets down to the pond eventually. Look at the size of these trees right there. You can't even tell, but big. It's a big. There's some hickories back here. There's some big oaks back here. There's some big trees on this property still. I got a cable here, a tension cable. But anyway, there are the windows. This is where the windows are going. You got two windows in the back. They got them all framed out. That's what I went and got the glass for them. They don't provide the glass. Never knew that. So, you know, so yeah, just, you know, I have some light in here. And then we got a window over here. And they also framed down another door. If we ever want to put a door in here, you know, sometime in the future, they provide the trim for it and everything. So, you know, we could put another indoor here if we wanted to. For some reason, you know, I, mean, I don't know if we're going to or, you know, if we ever would or not, but for some reason we thought, oh, we should have a door down here. We could do it. You know, well, we could look at the pond. We got a window down here looking at the pond. So, it would be my view, you know. Uh, and then right here is where the bathroom is going. We're putting a full bath in the shop. So, shower, big walk in shower, just a, you know, one of those fiberglass, you know, 72 by whatever, three feet, whatever it is. And then, uh, you know, your water closet and then uh, sink. Stuff like that. You know, you got to have a bathroom. I don't want to walk to the house. You know, even though the house is not that far. But, you know, hey, it's nicer to have a, have a bathroom in the shop. So, anyway, so, like I say, I just wanted to give you an update what's going on. Anyway, thanks for joining. Cheaper. Hit that like and subscribe. You know, help us grow this channel. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Have a great day.